a speech language pathologist. I've been here for 10 years. I just celebrated my 10 year anniversary in June of this year. When I first interviewed here, there was a sign at HR um, right when I walked in in the old building and it said to serve suffering humanity for his sake. And I remember walking in and taking a deep breath and thinking, I think this is my home. I signed a two year contract at the time and I thought, well, you know, I'll go move back to Wisconsin after my two years have been completed. And after two years, I felt like I was truly at home. I love what I do. I love the patients I care for. I love the families. I love my team. I, I love it. I can't imagine my life any differently. So I think I'll be here for another 50 years, hopefully, if I can. <laughs> and I drive 50 miles uh, one way to come to work every day. So I drive about an hour. So about 100 miles round trip to come to work. And I. There's, uh, there's just nowhere else I'd rather be. My colleagues that I work with are my family. It's just miraculous, the miracles that we, that take place in the NICU and what we do. You know, they say you can't spoil a baby, but I think we probably do spoil our babies just a little bit up here. I love the people. I love my colleagues. I love the values, the core values that St. John's embodies and possesses. It's a very gratifying feeling to know that it, the process of the physicians and the allied health professionals that are coming in and saving lives, that, that's starting with us. I'm a lot behind the scenes, so while I'm not on the forefront of it, it is nice to know that I do play a part in that. I am the occupational health nurse, and I have been in that position for 30 years. I came here practically as a baby right out of nursing school and have stayed my whole career. Basically, I can sum it up by saying this is family. St. John's values correlate right in with my values personally, and it's just a wonderful fit. We have the best colleagues um, in, in the city, I think, and um, it's a pleasure to take care of our colleagues. When I first started working here, there was three and four bed patient wards which they don't have that anymore. I worked on 3 Southwest, if anybody remembers that. And um, there was mainly sisters and nuns that were my supervisors. And of course they run, run a type ship, um, especially with the four corners on the bed sheets. I work on six medical right now. I've worked on several units throughout the hospital, but um, this is where I've ended up now. And I hope to be there when I retire. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. The people I work with are amazing. Some I work with for a long time, some I work with for a short time. Uh, but over 30 years you work with people and the ones that we work with for a long time, we just have a synchrony about ourselves. We can go in a room together. I may do this, the other nursing tech or nurse will do that. And the patients realize it. they're like, you two work so good together. How do you do that? And we're like, well, years together. You know, you get that. It's just like, you know, you have your family. You know what they like, what they don't like. You know what they do, what they don't do. So we learn each other. We help each other. Um, during the good times, we laugh about what we've done. During the bad times, we get through it and we kind of pull each other back up. I'm really blessed that I've been able to work 40 years, you know, physically, mentally, and um, and that's and being at the bedside is really where my love is. So I'm I'm very fortunate to be able to keep doing that. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for teamwork. I mean, you can't do it alone. Lots of people on your team: therapists, physical therapists, and respiratory therapists. So it's not just the nursing staff, but you know the nursing techs there and the clerks. They're just all very important to making it all run. I mean, you have to have them to to make it all work for the patient. I'm a pharmacist and I work mainly uh, in the IV room and uh, we do like chemotherapy or, or check IVs and uh, we handle high risk meds so it's a very important job. I worked in pediatrics, I worked in ortho floor, I've been all over in this hospital so when I got out of school I wanted to come here and I applied here and they didn't want me then so uh, I went to Decatur Memorial and I worked there for probably four 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 years or so, and then I applied here and came here and I was fortunate enough to get the job here and uh, I think uh, it was in my heart to work here.